can I see a show of hands who would like to win in life? Thank you. Can I see a show of hands of you who have seen people that win in life? For being the right crowd at the right place in the right event, give yourself a big hand. Now, we define winning in life as a life that is lived happily and fulfilled in all areas by our own terms. Winning in life is not a goal at the end of our life. Winning in life is a process. Winning in life is a goal in our everyday life at every single second. That's winning in life. But today, how did the society telling us about winning in life? I'm pretty sure most of us are shared by our parents, our teachers, our lecturers or professors about this golden equation of success. And this whole golden equation of success looks like this. Number one, I'll need to get into a good school. Next, I'll need to get a good grade. That's the expectation, right? After that, you need to get into a good company. Then you make sure you've got a good pay. Then, what do I need to do next? I'm told that I'll need to save up money, right? And then after this, what's next? I'm very excited to know. But ironically, I'll need to figure out myself. Nobody's telling me about that. And most of the people in the society, they are having expectation that following this equation at the end of life, we are going to have a life that is happy ever after. Right? So I was an engineering student back then in a public university. Sadly, not UUM. I hope so, but it's not. What I'll need to do as an engineer is to do make Validation. I gotta make validation to make sure that this equation works in my life because I would like to win in life, right? So I validate it with the people who I'm closest with, the people who I love, my siblings, my parents, teachers, lecturers, and professors. Because these are people who strongly believe that that equation works. And they live based on that equation. But guess what? None of them is winning in life. This equation works for zero. None of them. And I found out that the society is programming our mind to believe at certain age, we'll need to do certain things. At certain age, we'll need to go to school. At certain age, we'll need to move into career. At certain age, we'll need to get married. And hello, who makes the call? We are living based on judgment because society is telling us whether we are earning enough or not. The society is telling us when should we do what. And by living based on other people's expectation, we are not going to be happy or fulfilled. In New York Times, there's a person called Dr. Stone. He published and said, human beings, their happiness level reduced from 18 years old to 50 years old because we are busy meeting expectations of people. But isn't life supposed to be full of possibilities? Isn't that we are supposed to live our life based on the fact that we are building our life towards happiness and fulfillment every single day at every single moment? So that I know if at the next moment I die, I'll have no regrets. And that is a process that we are looking for. So after working with hundreds of people from all walks of life, we found out that for people to reach a certain level of happiness, to reach their personal success, they'll need to have freedom. All of us will need to have freedom in these three key areas. Number one financial freedom. Put it simple, money. Do you think money is important? So, right now, in the society nowadays, how do we earn money? We gotta work 9 to 5. 
and we are getting our salary once per month. And who's telling us whether we are earning enough or not? Our parents, our girlfriend's parents, our friends. But financial freedom, on the other hand, is totally different. You are making choices. You are in full control. Because you are in control of all the sources of income that's coming into a bank account. It's not at all about you are getting your income once per month. How about once per week? How about daily income? Is it only we can get income from one source or two sources? How about five sources of income? How about ten? It's all about possibilities. Keywords are control and choice. And next, we will be talking about time freedom. By the way, time freedom and free time is totally different. Free time is the time that you have left after you have finished doing the things that you need to do. Assignments or your work. Means what? Means you can only choose what you can do based on your time left. You are not the one deciding what you can do. Your time left is the one deciding what you can do. But time freedom is different. It means you're in total control of your time. Means if, let's say right now, you are making a decision, hey, the next day I'm going to Japan to spend time with my loved ones, with my family members. You know very well that your quality of life won't be affected at all because you're in control. You know your income will be affected. And health freedom, on the other wise, is a state where you are in total control and choice on your physical health, how fit you are. You have no worries at all about whether you are going to be sick or not. So let me ask you a question. If you have control and choice over these three areas, and you have freedom over these three areas, would you be making totally different decisions from, right from right now? So some of us we may say, come on, we, I don't need this to be happy. Let me show you a few scenarios. So imagine right now you're already an employee. You're working in a company. You are working from nine to five, eight hours, right? You are earning 4,000 a month, let's say. And you would like to earn more. What do you need to do? It's normal for us to spend more time, not 9 to 5. I have friends who work from 9 to 8. I have friends who work from 9 until 4 a.m. in the morning because they would like to earn more. So it's okay for them to sacrifice a little bit of their health. It's okay to sleep less. It's okay to skip meals. And it's a norm. The issue is people are thinking that it's the right thing to do. I need to do trade-offs, right? But why are we having such thought? Because in schools, from schools, we are having such mindset already. Anybody over here, because you would like to have a better result in your examination, because you would like to complete an event, you sleep less. Anybody over here, because you would like to finish your assignments last minute by your very considerate lecturers and professors, you skip meals. Normal, right? And after you have graduated, you thought still it's the right thing to do, to do trade-offs. But how about if I tell you, today if you would like to earn more money, you don't have to trade off your time and your health. Would that be a better choice? Next scenario, say right now, you're bored about getting more money. You're bored about results. Hey pal, I would like to spend more me time. Let's go to Cameron Highland. Let's skip some classes, all right? Just probably you would like to go to gym, you would like to spend more time to keep yourself fit. You would like to go to yoga classes. So automatically, we are gonna have lesser focus on our income stream. We're gonna have lesser focus on our assignments, right? But what if today, if you spend more time to do the things that you love to do, it won't affect your income? Would that be good? But some of us, we may say, come on, I don't need this. I don't need freedom. I can do it during weekends. I can do it during semester breaks. 
if I'm working, I can take off days, right? That's why there's such word TGIF. Thank God it's Friday. But allow me to ask you one question. If in one whole week of seven days, you are only happy during weekends, two days, don't you think that life is a bit wrong? If in one whole year, 365 days, you are only happy during weekends and semester breaks or off days, don't you think that life is terribly wrong? So what if we have total control in this all three area? It's not about the society's judgment, but by our own choice. But say today you have reached all this personal success and personal happiness. Is that all? No. Tony Robbins once said, a success without fulfillment is the biggest failure in life. So we don't stop there. Because happiness is only about ourselves. But fulfillment is about other people. It's about significance in life. So one of the significance that we'll be talking about is love. Don't be awkward even though there's a lady sitting beside you. Now love and like is different by the way. So then imagine, right, your parents, your lovely parents, they mistakenly or they choose to throw away one present that is given by either your boyfriend or your girlfriend. That is an anniversary present, they just chuck it away. Like, meh. How would you feel? Annoyed? Frustrated? I'm like, I'm, I don't like that, come on. But would you leave your family because of that? Would you be breaking the bond because of what they did? No. Because as much as you dislike what they did, you love them. That's why love is a bigger feature because you know you are a part of a relationship that's not only about yourself, it's about other people. Next, purpose. Now purpose is the why behind. It's the why behind every decision you made. It's not about what you do, it's about why you are doing it. For example, why purpose is so important? Because it gives you a superpower that you can make decisions instantly. Today, imagine Jack Ma. If he do, did not have purpose that time, will he be able to create Alibaba? Even KFC did not want him. People are telling him that e-commerce doesn't work. Now, because of purpose, he made the right decision. So today, would you like to make decisions instantly as effectively as Jack Ma and Mark Zuckerberg? That's the importance of purpose. Transcendence. Transcendence is a little bit spiritual. It's about helping people to reach their personal potential. Allow me to give you an example. We know that people like Warren Buffett, we know people like Bill Gates, they have already reached their personal potential. They have money, they have time, they're in good health. But what's the similarity? They donate and give money to do charity, donation, and foundation. Why? Because they would like to lift people up, because they would like to have fulfillment in their life. But imagine this. If we are not doing that at that time, we start to develop these skills, this habit to do it well, we were young, since you were in kindergarten, do you think your life will be totally different? Winning in life is supposed to be a model that we keep on pursuing to win every single day at every single moment. It's a process. It's not a goal at the end of our life. But after we are happy and fulfilled, is that all? No. There's one more thing. You've got to have the right story. Because today, as much as you are happy, as much as you are fulfilled every single day, if the story that is surrounding you is wrong, then things could be terribly wrong. Example, Robin Williams. I'm pretty sure you know who he was. He's an Oscar award-winning actor. He's in a lot of films. He's in a lot of movies. So imagine this, he got all the money he wants, he has all the time he wants, 
and he has the ability to get, take good care of his health. People love him. He has the ability to do charity. Don't you think he's happy and fulfilled? But guess what? He commits suicide. He killed himself. He died. Why? Because as much as he is possible to be happy and fulfilled, the story that is surrounding him is wrong. He's telling himself that my life is not good enough. I'm not happy. I'm depressed. It's okay for me to die. So winning in life is not only a journey that is full of happiness and fulfillment. It's a journey that you are happy and fulfilled with the correct story surrounding you. And shouldn't that be the life supposed to be? Shouldn't that be the winning life model that is supposed to be? And not based on other people's judgment. So today you can make choices. Choices number one. You can choose to live your life based on the society's judgment, the society's measuring scale. Or you make choices based on your own term, not other people's term. You can make another choices. You either, your life is good enough right now, I'm pretty sure, no doubt at all. You can make choices, either you would like to follow the golden equation of success. Get into a good school, get a good grades, get a good, good company, get a good pay. And then we hope we can live happily ever after, like Cinderella. Or you choose to take out this accountability and live your life and winning along the way. Follow the winning life model and strive to win every single day at every single moment. Make sense to you? And choices is for you and it's up to you. Thank you.